essentially the program that programs life. We can synthesize anything we want, type it on a keyboard, send it to some faraway lab, we get back the software, and we can use that software either to reboot a whole organism someday or go put it into other living organisms and hope or see if it does good. That's pretty much it, right? That's the basic idea. That's uh, the dream. That's the dream. That's the dream. And sex is the mechanism by which we get a lot of, of variation so that the billions of years of history has taught us what we might use if we could just figure out what in there we want to use. Sex makes up for the fact that we're profoundly ignorant of how, what sequence will actually do something we want. So you can breed them. So it turns out like millions of these mosaic beads, evolution's been constantly turning them into proteins. Proteins are the things we need, they're the workhorses. The question is, how many people are looking for proteins that can help and change the world we live in? Is there hundreds of you, thousands of you, hundreds of thousands of you? Well, I'm sure there's at least thousands. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole biotechnology industry is based on the search for molecules in biology that would solve human problems. So, and bacteria, secrets to teach us, plants, secrets to teach us. So we've got the entire kingdom of things to teach us. That's the glory. Now that we've been sequencing, and you're going to hear more about this, now that we've been sequencing whole genomes, we have this immense database of stuff out there that could be used as a basis for forward evolution. So if we could just figure out how to take the photosynthesis system and put it into other things, there goes the energy Wouldn't issue. Wouldn't that be wonderful? All right. Well, that's certainly something to look forward to. Thank you very <laughs> much, Francis. Thank you.